So, so in my head, I'm wondering, should I just guide a super dead simple meditation that people can do anytime? Or should I guide one specifically that's about before sleep? Uh, so I might do those differently, but I'll just do a kind of hybrid. So you can close your eyes. You can have them open, just looking at the ground in front of you if that's more comfortable. But since we're doing a sleepish one, you close your eyes. And then take a few breaths here at the top to and get yourself organized. Oh, I should say, actually, yeah, if you're doing this for sleep, you know, lay down. <laughs> Sit up. So you're laying down and as you breathe in, you're kind of, you're taking in some oxygen, kind of that's your breathing in is sort of just checking with where am I at? Where am I at right now? Am I feeling relaxed? Am I feeling, you know, wound up, wound up? Just kind of getting clear on what, where you're, what's going on with your mind body right now. There's lots of thinking, there's not so much. And then on the exhale, you don't really care about all that. <laughs> You're forgetting what you learned. So breathe out and nice, make the exhale nice and long. So long exhale means that you're sort of activating that parasympathetic response, the rest and digest. That's always that's why people tell you in yoga to make the exhale a little bit longer than the inhale. Same here. So breathe in and then nice long exhale. And as you're doing it, deliberately kind of take a moment to soften the worry lines of your forehead and then soften your cheeks and your jaw. Soften your shoulders. It's like every time you breathe out, it's like a little letting go. See if you can land a little bit more firmly or deeply in your bed. So you, it's the out breaths, think of it as like you're breathing out tension. You're softening the worry lines. You're sinking a little bit deeper. And really let this sinking happen. Sometimes when we're laying down, we think we're, we're, we're kind of as relaxed laying down as in, in a way that's as relaxed as we could be. But we actually realize that we're sort of a little bit uptight. You're kind of holding yourself a little bit above the mattress somehow, as weird as it sounds. Like you're still tense somewhere. But really let yourself go kind of jello. You can imagine as you're breathing out, you're actually sinking in a little bit deeper each time into the mattress. And now, since I, I mentioned it off the top, why not we'll do this? Let your breathing start to kind of slow down in the sort of natural way in which it does. Even begin to approximate a little bit the the breathing you do when you're sleeping, which tends to be, well, I don't know, actually, I won't script you. Pretend you're falling asleep and let your, your breath kind of naturally fall into the rhythm that happens at that time for you. And by the way, if this whole, if it, if it's just interfering things, manipulating with your breath like it feels like you're manipulating your breath and it kind of ends up wigging you out don't forget about all that part instead just notice the body relaxing and just breathe normally some people don't like you know paying attention to the breath at all because it can throw them but for others let yourself kind of play with this a bit play with the breath is sort of slowing down a bit And it's as though if someone were looking at you from outside, they, they wouldn't quite know if you're awake or asleep or not at this point. Let me just keep doing this here. Keep breathing in this more relaxed way. Some people, you can just sort of keep your mind resting on the feeling of the body, relaxing and the breath. And you can let that breath sort of just kind of float away with it. That might work. I mean, we're still early on in the meditation here, so I'm expecting everyone's still, still awake. But that can work as someone to give your mind something to do. But there's other things you can get your mind to do. One is what I described, which is just and one of the features of falling asleep, if you a chapter on this on the hypnagogic 
is you get these strange images sometimes, hypnagogic imagery. And even at the beginning here, you know, you might be thinking about this meditation or wondering if this is going to work. But let yourself kind of let your mind get kind of loose and drifty. And just sort of notice what random images come into your mind's eye. Random associations and images. And the idea would be to kind of let your attention sort of float, deliberately choosing the weirder ones. So not indulging the strains of thinking that are more concrete and practical, but getting, letting yourself sort of pay attention to anything weird or unusual, even as your breath is slowing down. And you don't even want to be too curious here. It's more just like you're vaguely interested. You don't really need to make sense of what you're seeing. In fact, see if you can just drop or let go of any need to make sense, to be sensible. You're just this body breathing in a slower way. And the breath is sort of pulling the body in and the mind is sort of skipping along, taking these random detours, floating, doesn't even know where it's going. And you don't even have to even know what my words are saying at this point. You can kind of let that outside world slowly fade out of your consciousness a bit so that the inner world expands the strange images the body breathing. It's like you're being stretched out. Stretched out, pulled across this, this little dip. Brain waves are slowing down. Breath might be slowing naturally. And you're just, it's like you're tracing out a design with your mind and you don't even remember what it is anymore. You don't need to know what it is. And from there, you can just kind of take it on your own. At this point, I think my voice would just be an interruption. So sayonara, amigo. <laughs> Enjoy your nighttime weirdness. Ha, ha, ha.